Greetings to all my friends and subscribers. I know I haven't done a video in a long time and I wanted to start doing them again. So the first thing I want to say is Happy New Year or for you Spanish speakers Feliz Año Nuevo. All right, so a couple things I want to talk about. One is I'm going to do a video coming up pretty soon called the unboxing of my new cowboy boots. So if you're ever interested in cowboy boots and want to see an unboxing video, look for that next. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is one thing that's very important and it separates primitive Baptists from a lot of other people. And it is um, immediate Holy Spirit regeneration. Now, what does that mean? That means that God by himself without the help of man can regenerate a child of God at will whenever he chooses to do so between the time that person is born and that person dies. It has nothing to do with the will of the person, the decision or actions of the person. So it doesn't even have to do with if they ever heard the gospel or not. That has to do with conversion, not regeneration. So one of the things that is going to be like a light bulb that will go off in your head, if you can grasp the reality of immediate Holy Spirit regeneration, which means that God is able to cause a person to be born again whenever he chooses, and that person doesn't even know it at the time. He's just changed. His heart has been changed from the heart of stone to a heart of flesh. Now... He has the ability, the ears, to hear the gospel and therefore be converted by it. Prior to that, he does not even have the ears to hear it, or it, to, to him it would seem as foolishness, as the scripture says. So, one important thing that I want to say is that if you do not know what immediate Holy Spirit regeneration is, then... Go ahead and say something on this video and uh, we can talk about it. And that's one thing that I would want all of you to come to understand in the year 2020 is immediate Holy Spirit regeneration. Because this gives all of the glory to God and none of it to man. Because as by grace we are saved, it is not by ourselves. It has everything to do with God alone. And so therefore... I just wanted to say Happy New Year, and we're going to be doing more videos in 2020 than we did in 2019 of subjects that I hope you enjoy. So be sure to subscribe if you haven't, and uh, look forward to the next one on my new cowboy boots. I have never owned a pair of cowboy boots that I've purchased myself, and I plan to... Uh, have a nice pair to wear around and enjoy myself. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, make sure you watch the unboxing video that will follow this one. All right, many blessings to you. And again, remember, immediate Holy Spirit regeneration is true, and it will change the way you look at the scriptures. It will change the way you look at evangelism and a lot of other things. Because regeneration and conversion are not one and the same thing. One has to be regenerated, born again, before they can ever be converted. You don't get converted and then therefore become regenerated. That is getting the, the horse, uh, the cart before the horse, as they would say. All right, again, God bless you and uh, subscribe to the videos, share them with people. Uh, there's a whole lot of other videos on a lot of subjects that I have on here that you can watch as well, uh, be it uh, the Bible or things on language. And now, again, we're going to be doing cowboy boots. All right. Bye-bye. Talk to you later.